What's up guys, Nick here with another unboxing video. No, it's not a game or anything, it's actually a controller because I kind of needed a new controller. The uh, Xbox One controller, the top button started being a little screwy. Sometimes you have to press it like four or five times for it to work. And the, o the other one I think is fine, but I had issues with it too. And you know, my controller's like uh, over a year old, so it's, it's starting to wear a little bit. And plus, apparently they don't have very good life spans for the controllers at least so i got a new one and it is a power a like neon green controller it looks pretty sleek and nice i like the design for it sure so the buttons are still like in the same positions and all that but eh. uh i there's not much to read up on it other than uh dual rumble motors impulse triggers 9.8 foot inline release cord. It's, it's a wire controller because I don't want to, you know, spend done tons and tons of money on freaking batteries. Uh, has an audio jack on the bottom. Impulse triggers, meaning for the top pieces, which I never cared for. Texture analogs, which basically, like, the there's like little ridges on the sides of them. Yeah. And what's the last one? Precision tuned analog, which is basically... It's it's made basic. It's made by a company that Xbox uses, I guess, for more affordable controllers. Because a lot of people don't want to spend uh, like sixty to seventy dollars on a controller. So I'm okay with spending like thirty four. You know, because my 360 one is also a Power A controller. It looks like a 360 controller, but you can, you can slightly tell a difference. But yeah, and I had to look and see what brand it was, because I'm like, I like this controller. Let's get one just like it. All right, let's open it and see how it feels and everything. And I'm using a box cutter I used when I was pre at my previous job. I s still, to this day, I'm not going to say what it is. I've said it on camera a couple times, but that's for other. that was on p other people's stuff. It wasn't for my own. I don't think it's going to come out any other way than destroy. Oh, because there's two spot. Eh, yep. Oh, well. Oh, well. <sighs> Let's open. Oh, there's the cord. Good gosh. The good thing about these, these cords are very sturdy. Oh, and it pops out too. I don't know why it needs to pop out. I've always wondered about that. Wow, it looks really nice. So let's take a look at this thing. It's green and black with, you know, the colors. It's really cool looking. You know, and it feels, it feels, it's actually thinner, I think. Well, it's a little bit longer. Yeah, the, it's a little bit longer. I'm trying to measure them here. So let's do it like that. When I do it in that way, my thumbs go completely over. Do this way. Okay, it's about the same size, but it looks more like their 360 controller. Same layout, layout and everything. And you can see a slight difference in the, the way the buttons look and everything. Uh, they're a little bit smaller. Just like a, a tad smaller. It's, it's not that hard to see. Uh, the buttons have are different. Like on here they're round. On here they're like squared. The triggers are a little, a tiny bit smaller. You know, and you don't have the jack up top or the sync button or anything, but you do have the audio jack, but you have to use like a regular, like, if y'all can see it, there it is. You have to use like a regular headphone. So you can't use the specialty one that they have for the Xbox One. So if you plan on doing like streams and stuff like that from your Xbox One, you need to use the original one or get a specialty made one for this. For this. So, I would say it feels nice. I'm going to use it here in just a second because I need to test it. I'm just... Always always test it before I use it, but... Thank you all for watching this. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm starting to get my mood back together again, so... Y'all may see recordings come back at some point, so look forward to that. It'll be probably pre-recorded stuff to where I'm like recording it a week in advance. It'd be easier for me to do it that way, you know, record on one day and then have the rest of the week to do whatever the hell I want. 
and just release them on the day of. So, thank you for watching. I will see y'all next time on whatever's next. Peace.